Hello, welcome to Brew Review TV, where we're not too serious about seriously good beer. I'm Hamp Tanner. I'm Ed Hall. That's the new guy. That's the beard guy. Today we have a fantastic beer here in the beer garden from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton, Delaware. This is the Immortale. New guy. That's me. Tell us about <laughs> this beer. <laughs> All right. The uh, Advocates gave it a B+. Plus. A 874 reviews. Almost representative. Not representative in any way. What are we at, a thousand? Glass. That's not mine. That's a, not regulation. That's nice it's still good though. The bros gave it an A minus. Is this the first time we've seen them beat out the advocates? No. You, no? Re research staff. Research staff. No, no the you. bros, we had two today where they gave an A plus and no. you're never gonna get I the advocates to average an A plus because you got too many outliers. You got too many dings in there. Yeah, ding, man. I didn't like anything. No, He's I like not giving anything in A plus. Um, sorry to keep going. Eleven sure. percent ABV. Nice. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's enough. Not uh, enough. I think that's yeah. everything. All right. You know what? It's an amber hue, like a red. Cloudy. It's good. Cloudy. It's got a funky smell. Ooh. Kinda. It smells like toe jam a little bit. Am I right? Anyone? You know I, what? I think it's the glasses. Definitely the glasses. Yeah. I Which have using, never been washed. By I was the using way. that dirty rag back there to clean them out. Mm. I'm gonna say this on the nose, and it's gonna cost me a buck. Little bit alcoholy. Yes. One dollar. But it doesn't burn. No, it doesn't. And mm. I have one. I have one of your beard whiskers in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. All right. Well, here we go. That will scratch the esophagus on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have that alcohol burn. That's no, what I like about this. It does this. not have an alcohol burn. They call burn. this a strong ale? American strong ale? I don't know. Yeah, American strong ale. You're right. It doesn't, it doesn't have a burn at all. Like you would expect with the 11%. It's very smooth and kind of uh, malty, a little nutty or malty right. or something. I will say uh, there's some ap apricot in there. Yeah. No, there isn't. Yeah, um, I'll read to you what's no, in there. there. No, yeah, actually, there's No. Something. No, there's not. <laughs> All right, scratch it. Yeah. Scratch apricots. Uh, there's actually a lot going on. Juniper uh, berries. Peat smoked barley. Organic juniper berries. I like that. Juniper berries are what they put in my gin. The peat, I taste. And go Forest on the, floor. Go on to the part with the apricots. Forest floor. Keep going. Uh, vanilla and maple syrup. That's yes. actually in there? Yes. Yes, yeah. I, I agree with that. Aged and oak. <laughs> Boy, the flavor. Fermented with a blend of English and Belgian through. yeast. Belgian yeast. What about the apricots? <clears throat> apricots were... The Belgian yeast are imparting an apricot coffee flavor. No, there's no apricots. There's apricots. Mm. I like it. It doesn't blow me away. It's, you know it's like a kaleidoscope of flavors. It's what, not one dominant flavor that, to me. What blows me away about this is that it's 11%. Yeah, you usually go straight to that. You should just buy and malt liquor. <laughs> yeah, why even drink anything decent? All right, go to the cards. That, um, I think it's, you know, great. I think it's interesting. It, it doesn't, I think it's interesting, a little too much going on. What's weird me. is it's, it's like, you know, like flavors coming in from every mm -hmm. angle, but I can't identify any of them specifically other than apricot, which <laughs> isn't even in there. Exactly. I, there's an, I don't get any apricot. No, no, no I, you it, do. It, Most I people do when they drink this. <laughs> you get the apricots. Smelly feet, yes. though. A little bit of a smelly feet smell. Peat. Peat. It's the forest floor, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. All right, go to the cards. This yeah. is like $100,000 a minute. You're staring at me. Wrong. <laughs> Too high? <laughs> he doesn't even know what you wrote, and he says wrong. How do you like that? For raw spec. Raw spec. Big daddy. Boom. 89. 93. <laughs> 89. 93. This was better than uh, Bitches Brew. What did you get, Bitches Brew? Uh, 72. No, what did you get? Because I gave it a 93. What did I give it? An 89? Yeah, so we flip flopped. Yeah. I gave this one an 89. It's a different flavor profile. I, I have a more sophisticated palate. <laughs> you have a very. Yours, and that's all palette. for today. Yours is very <laughs> garden variety, boilerplate style palate. Very. You like Corona, like don't you? Palette. You really like a Corona? I like the boilerplate term. Boilerplate. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching Burger Review TV. And remember, drink hard, drink fast, drink often. <laughs>